I'm Alyssa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is April the 11th, 2021, and I am going to do a brief update on the much requested Gatesgate scandal. Wow. <laughs> Things keep on pouring out about this ever widening scandal that seems to now be encompassing more and more people, but started with a Bill Barr initiated investigation into a local Florida official named Joel Greenberg. He worked uh, as a tax collector on the outskirts of Orlando and somehow that roped in Matt Gates, who's his good friend and uh, partner in crime. And I don't even mean that like that. I mean that literally. And that led into looking at Matt Gates' involvement in having sex with a 17-year-old child, as well as being caught with Venmo payments and Cash Apple payments to young women for sugar daddy types of relationships for sex and also uh, prostitutes or sex workers. Uh, and it, it, it is looking like it's involving also uh, the use of ecstasy and other illicit drugs. And now <laughs> there's a investigation looking into Matt Gates alleged involvement with a, an election uh, fraud where uh, uh, apparently or allegedly uh, he and others plotted to put up a, a sham candidate and uh, they're looking into whether that broke laws. <laughs> so it's, it seems like it's, it's never, it's never ending. And according to my guides, it is just the beginning, really. So I'm going to use the Cyril Marchetti Gilded Tarot for our reading. We have an Oracle card from the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck by Rasuli. And then there is a musical interlude as usual towards the end. So stick around for that. It's only three cards. Uh, first card is Justice. So this is referring to the investigation that was open that started the whole thing and then ensnared Matt Gates, And now it's ensnaring others as well of the GOP and the, uh, their associates. This is the tower. So this is Matt Gates being ensnared, him falling out of this tower. And it's just this devastating event. And the outcome card is death. This is the end of Gates's career. This is a possibility of him going to jail. Maybe he can buy his way out, but I don't know. My guides indicate that it, there's a, a big potential for Matt Gates to spend some time in jail. How much time? I don't know, but this is the end for him. This is overwhelming for him. And then there, there was something else interesting that came up. I'm going to be really curious to see if that pans out or if we ever find out that's true. But my guides said that they're looking into Gates possibly selling the information and selling and or sharing the information he learned what whilst he, um, and he still is, has been on the judicial committee in the house. And he, they say that he's been selling this to various agents and uh, allies as well as foreign agents. So they say, Trump, uh, Stephen Miller, Bannon, Roger Stone, uh, law firms representing the various people that may be investigate, being investigated by this committee, and then foreign agents that he's been selling the information he's gleaned on the Judicial Committee, allegedly, again, to, to Russia, Iran, and Turkey. So they wanted to let you know about that. We'll see if it, if it comes to be. Every time I talk about Matt Gates, I want to take a shower, <laughs> a mental shower, <laughs> and maybe a real shower. It's just, it's so disgusting. He's so disgusting. And I wonder uh, how his uh, fiance is 
dealing with it, Ginger. That, uh, I, oh, I, w I wanted to let you know that very last um, picture of Matt Gates doing that interview, probably for Fox or Newsmax, with, you know, half of him dressed up and the other in boxer shorts. That was from Ginger Lucky's uh, Twitter feed, which I sur uh, surrendip what is the word, surreptitiously, right? I, I followed her. I wanted to see what else she was posting because that came up. I think that's hysterical. I thought that was really interesting that she would post something like that. Okay, <laughs> so that's the reading on Gates. And it, I, there's so much that's going to come out. But again, I think many, 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 many people are going to be involved in that. So it's just going to keep on going and going. It's like a quantum type of uh, tower moment that the GOP are having. The Oracle card that we got today, from, of course, this beautiful deck, Sufi Wisdom, Ending a Trauma. Transform memories and symptoms. Do not allow your soul to be oppressed. Where part of you goes, the rest of you will eventually follow. And this is by a, a Sufi poet called Rabia. This oracle is like a gentle lover guiding you to cope with your reactions to stress and envision yourself in a position of power. Even if you are not a victim of trauma, actively coping is a way of responding to the challenges of everyday life. The oracle is inspiring you to trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirits flow through the wisdom of Sufi mystics. They come to help you overcome the feeling of helplessness and to encourage you to be the best you can be. They are inviting you to accept the impact of trauma on your life and take direct action to improve how you respond to it. Dear one, know that you are much loved in ways you may not always experience consciously. You must dare to challenge old definitions of yourself by identifying them as false and recognizing they are based on circumstances that you were not in control of. When you feel the full pain of your past and process and make sense of it, you can resolve your trauma. This will alter your path into the future. If you feel anxiety, for instance, you can accept and recognize the feeling, but direct your attention to something else. Watch your thoughts, perceptions, and emotions flash through your mind without being involved in them emotionally. Thoughts are just thoughts. You don't have to believe them nor let them guide your behavior. Know that there's support all around you. Creatively, you can experience these feelings and express them in a positive, innovative way. By getting involved in uplifting activities, you can improve your mood and rebuild your life. Mantra. I will detach from being traumatized or wounded. I will release these memories and replace them with feelings of unconditional love. I am confident in my ability to process my memories and symptoms and to thrive. What a beautiful card. At this point in the reading, I remind people I am available for personal readings. I read anything in the present, including past and future. I read past lives, I'm a medium and I can help you uh, tr try and get in touch with those who've passed over. And also sometimes if they haven't passed over, we, we can ask the guides and we can help move them forward to the light. Also, I love to introduce people to their guardian angels. My information is included in the description box below the video. At the end of the musical interlude, I always list my contact information there so you can find it there. Please everybody take care, I love you. I will be back next week. Bye-bye. My love.